Joining us to discuss uh, the political is discuss all this is political science professor and founding director of the Deportation Research Clinic at Northwestern University, Jackie Stevens. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. So we had just learned uh, within the last week that the Supreme Court kept Title 42 in place. I think the average person is still very confused since both parties seem to think it's a problem or not a problem. Explain it just nuts and bolts, if you can, to the average person of what's happening. Uh, so there's a good reason to be confused. Um, Title 42 is a provision that was implemented during the Trump administration to expel people seeking entrance at the border based on fears about COVID. Um, the Biden administration ended the enforcement of uh, Title 42. However, there was litigation opposing um, the cessation of that program, and that's currently under review by the Supreme Court. In the meantime, the Biden administration has continued Confused people such as Democrats like Representative Escobar by actually during this recent time frame expanding the enforcement of Title 42 to include Haitians, Nicaraguans, and Cubans. So there's a really obvious contradiction in their policy position. So there's a short term problem and there's a long term problem. The short term problem are we asking Mexico to help us out here? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, Mexico's being um, asked to um, maintain shelter and provide asylum to people who are seeking entrance into the United States. And there are various deals that are being pursued by the Biden administration to incentivize Mexico to help out along those lines. What do you see happening in, in the next year or so? Obviously, there is a big need and a big influx of people wanting to come to this country. How do you effectively uh, deal with things at the border? What do you think will happen? Well, I mean, I think there's two kinds of questions. One, what will happen, and another, what should happen. Um, I think what will happen is that we'll see ongoing suffering at the border that has been, you know, been, been, been in place for the last several years. Um, I do think that there's going to be some efforts in the Congress to try to work this out. Um, if that were to be pursued, then I think the, you know, I, I think a priority on which both parties could agree might be some kind of work program. Um, and, uh, the, you know, in the, the other thing that is going to be happening is going to be a lot of litigation because some of the proposals that Biden is pursuing are um, apparently unlo yes, very, very seemingly unlawful. Can I, can I um, ask you, though, there, there, have been t there have been periods where uh, one party has controlled both chambers of Congress and the White House and still nothing gets done. I don't think anything's been done uh, since, since Reagan. Why is that, do you think? Uh, that's a great question. Um, I think because there's been, under the Reagan administration, there was a consensus between corporations, big business on the one hand, and progressives on the other, that immigration was a good thing for the United States. Um, and in more recent years, there's been divisions within the Republican Party where nativists have tried to stop those kinds of policies, and um, they haven't been able to go forward. Mm. Well, Jackie Stevens, Professor, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. 834 now. Let's take a look.